Can the food that you eat make you sick? And I'm not talking about food poisoning here. Did you know that there's food additives allowed in the United States that are actually banned in other countries? Let's talk about potassium bromate. Potassium bromate is a substance used to strengthen dough in some breads. This substance has been banned in China, Brazil, Canada, India, and Europe. But it is legal to add to foods here in the United States. California is the only state that requires a label be put on foods containing potassium bromate and has done so since 1991. We know that potassium bromate is an oxidizing agent which is capable of causing cancer and also is toxic to the kidneys. I have found many articles talking about not only potassium bromate, but other substances that are allowed in the foods of the United States that are banned in other countries. These other substances are titanium dioxide, propyl paraben, brominated vegetable oil, and azo dicarbonamide. The FDA's response to potassium bromate is that if it's used properly, it will be converted into a harmless substance. But the question I have is, how do we know this is being done in all cases, number one? If this is true, why are other countries banning it? And do people that don't live in California even know that they are consuming something that may be cancer causing. As of 2022, the United States has the fourth largest cancer rate of any other country in the world. Which countries have the lowest cancer rate? Sudan and West Sudan. Do you think that has anything to do with the food they eat? Probably. We know that cancer is multifactorial. It may have something to do with air pollution. It could be the water. It could be a lot of things, but it probably does have something to do with the food they are eating. Guys, my recommendation has always been the same. Eat whole foods, stay away from processed foods and fast foods, shop organic and buy your fruits and vegetables at farmer's markets when possible and learn how to cook. If you're cooking your own food, not only is it cheaper, but you know what's going into it, and you can rid yourself of these chemicals. Food additives and chemicals are not good for our bodies. Convenience is not worth your health. As Americans, we have become used to getting what we want quickly, and that comes at a price. If you must use processed foods, read the labels, and if you can't pronounce what's on there, or you don't know what the substance is, Put it down and find something else. Always remember the five pillars of health. Eating whole foods is on that list. And I think it's one of the most important. They're all important for different reasons. But again, we don't want to put cancer-causing substances in our bodies when we don't have to. If you know somebody who needs to see this video, please send it to them. If you have learned something, or you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so more people can see it. Please leave me comments and let me know what you would like covered on this channel in the future, as long as it's health and wellness related, it's fair game. Please subscribe to my channel for more health and wellness content. My name is Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be healthy.